I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some test questions on organized counting and combinations. We have five questions which we are going to understand how to solve such questions. All these five questions are based on combinations and as you know that when we are selecting where the order is not very important we apply combination. Correct? Let's go through these questions one by one. Question number one, the number 5880 can be factored into prime divisors as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 7. Describe the total number of divisors of 5880 and part B is how many of the divisors are even. The next question here is, determine the number of ways of selecting 4 letters without regard to order that makes it combination from the word parallelogram so let me highlight this word parallelogram right? question number three the group a has five members and group b has eight there is only one member common to both groups in how many ways could a committee of four people be formed with at least one member from each group? Correct. Question number four. In how many ways could 15 different books be divided equally among three people? And question number five here is. A committee has 14 members, including seven from grade 12. In how many ways can a four-member subcommittee be formed so that it has not more than three grade 12 students? So these are five questions for you. It's a variety which will help you to understand all the concepts. I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's take their solutions one by one. Question number one. The number 5880 can be factored into prime divisors as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 7. Now part A is describe the total number of divisors of 5880. So what we are given here is that 5880 could be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 7. Correct? Now in this, what do you notice? That we have three distinct divisors, right? We have twos, we have threes, we have fives, and we have sevens, right? Now how many twos do we have? We have three twos, right? We have three twos. We have just one three, we have one five, and we have two sevens. Now when we are trying to find total number of divisors, that means we are looking for combination. Of these, right? So combination means that if you are given twos, how many choices do we have to select twos? We may not even select it. We can select one of them. We could select two or we could select all three. So there are four combinations. Do you understand? In case of three, since there is only one three, you may not select it or you may select it. So it's two. For five, it is again two. For seven, we have three ways of selecting these sevens, right? You may not select them. You may select one of them or both of them. So three different choices you have when we are looking at seven. Now when we say describe total number of divisors, then one of these combinations is that uh, you do not select one, right? So you do not select this, you do not select this, do not select this, do not select this. That means you make no selection. That is also a combination. We call it a null set. So we have to take away that one. Is it okay? 
we have to take away that one. However, you also know that for any number, one is always a factor. Is that okay? So you add one. We add this one since one is always a fact. Do you understand? So, so that is the result. So we have to multiply these terms, take away one, add one, that means just multiply these terms. And we get our result as 4 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is 4 times 4, 16 times 3 is 48. Do you see that? So that is how you can get the answer of part A. Correct? So I took a lot of space in just explaining you the concept. Anyway, let's look into part B now. How many of the divisors are even? Now that is the next part, right? So one of these twos could make the whole thing even. That is to say that we'll fix one of the twos, right? So, so to make it even, two is definitely a factor right so you could take one two you could take two twos you could take all three twos so that is how you get all the combinations which could lead to even numbers correct so you cannot have combinations which will have only three five seven seven you could think like that also correct or what you can think is we can say total combinations take away combinations where twos are not involved take away odd odd factors combination we could do that also right so so that could also result into even combinations do you get an idea so we know that 48 are total and if we consider only 3577 7, how many combinations can I make with this well total we know is 48 let me write 48 here minus odd means we are only looking for now these multiples do you see that so applying the same strategy we could select three times five or like three gives us two combinations five two seven gives us three right so it could be take away two times two times three right so these are the combinations where two is not involved so these are all odd combinations you get an idea right so these are all the odd number of combinations which shall give us a result correct so that is 2 times 2 4 4 times 3 as 12 so what we get here is 48 minus minus 12 now yes there is one without them but that one makes it covers up which we saw here is it okay so it is 4 times 3 12 when you take away 12 from 48 you get 36 as your answer so that becomes the answer for how many of the divisors are even so to find this we excluded these two simple as that and got our answer so i hope the concept is absolutely clear and let me remind you of uh, the formula which is normally used in such a scenario that is uh, we say if the total number of selections are to be made from items of one kind let's say p is one kind item then we do p plus one times q plus one times r plus one and in this case the series goes on take away one for null set right this is for null set so that gives you the combinations right that gives you the combinations so this is direct application of uh, the result which you learn where the items are similar kind and you have an option to take them or not to take them so i hope this is clear right so let's move on and do question number two now question number two 
Determine the number of ways of selecting four letters without regard of order. Now we are given without regard of order. That means combination, right? From the word parallelogram. So this is the word which we are considering. Let me rewrite this. So we have P A R A L L E L O G R E M. So whenever you have to make words from the given word, it's kind of important to count how many letters are there and what type of combinations you can make. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 letters. So, so let's write down. So we have 13 letters. Okay, how many of each kind? So as far as P is concerned, there is only one P. So one letter for P. A. A we have 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 A's. R. R we have 1 and 1, 2. So we have 2 R's. We have considered A. L. 1, 2, 3. Right? So 3 L's. E. 1. So 1 E. L considered O1. Okay. R. We have already taken care of 2 of them. A. 3 of them. Okay. And M is only 1. So, so that is the combination. So single letters for P, E, O, M, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, R, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think we have missed one. Okay. So G is what we have missed. Okay. So it's always good to count. Now again count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that is our set of letters to work with. Now what do we need? We need four letter words, correct? We need four letter words. Let us see how to solve such a question. So we are concentrating on four letter words. So we have to always think about four positions. Does it make sense? Now, one of these combinations could be that we have all single, right? So all distinct. So one case one, let's say, is when we have all distinct. Now in that case, all distinct means we are working with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So that means in this case, out of 8, we need combination of 4, correct? So that gives us all distinct. Is that clear? Now, the second could be we could have one double, right? So not all distinct, but we have one double. Now, when I say one double, what do I mean? Uh, I mean, for example, you know, these three are A's and L's. We could have two of them. So there are two scenarios for one double. If I take R's, if I take R's, then in these positions, what is left? We could actually place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these guys, right? So we have to select from seven to do you see that? So that really means that for one double case, I have to select from 7, 2. So this means 7, C, 2. This is when I take R's. However, if I take A's, since there are three A's, I mean, okay, uh, we'll take that as three numbers. So we'll not use that anyway. So we could take A's, we could take L's also, right? And then not take L, because then there'll be three of them. So we are left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have three of such combinations there, where in which case we have uh, two, a double. Do you see that? Okay. Now, third case could be, we could have, because there are two positions, we could have two doubles. Right. So, so when I say you could have two doubles, that really means you could have two R's and two A's. We're talking about combinations, so we can't just mix them. So two A's and two R's is the same combination. So that means you could have two R's, two A's, two R's, two L's, and these two. So here we have three combination of two doubles, right? 
Now another case could be we could have one triple. So if I have a triple, I could go with A's and L's. So, so let me redo for triples. That is to say, uh, I mean, triples means I could have three A's, right? And this position is open for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one position is open for seven. So we have seven C one position and we could do it for A's and we can also do it for L's because they have three numbers so it can be done for two of them is it okay so so those are all the combinations with us so the answer here is it is 8C4 plus 7C2 times 3 plus 3 plus 7C1 which is 7 times 2 correct so we can now find so it is uh, 8C4 plus 7C2, 7C2 times 3 plus 3 plus, I'll do 7 times 2, right? So what we get here is equal to 150. So there are total 154 letter words with regard to, without regard to order which can be formed using the word parallelogram. So I hope the concept is very clear. Great. Question number three is, the group A has five members and group B has eight. There is only one member common to both groups. In how many ways could a committee of four people be formed with at least one member from each club or group, right? So basically, we have two groups here. So let's say group A and then we have a group B here, right? So, and there is one common member in these groups. So let's put that member here. We are calling this as group A, this as group B. There are five members. A group A has five members, that means four left, four plus one. B has eight, that means seven plus one. So that is how they have that situation is right now we are interested in selecting a committee of four people so need we need committee of four now the condition is that at least one member from each club so at least one from each. So what we can do in this case, we can find total combinations. Let's find total first. So total combinations are, we are actually having so many members total, right? So 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. So in all, there are 12 people. You see that? So from 12, we have to make combination of 4. So this is the total right now out of these we want at least one let's see the combinations where none from group no one none from a is considered none from a is considered that means the choice is only from these seven right so we have to select four from seven so if i do none from let's say group B so that means the choice is from these four which belong only to group A correct so that is 4C4 for at least one so the combinations with at least one from each group is total minus these two right so which is 12C4 minus 7C4 minus 4c4 okay so that becomes the the answer so we can again use the calculator and uh, find the answer so it is 12c4 take away 7c4 take away 4c4 all right so well these are easy calculations which could be done without calculator also so you could do that so we get 459 as our answer. So these many 
committees could be formed where at least one will be from each group. Okay. So now, question number four is, in how many ways could 15 different books be divided equally among three people? So we have 15 different books. Let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right? So let's say these are the books and they have to be divided amongst three people. So, so first person has how many choices? We'll go by person this time. So let us say first person. So first person has choices. He can, he or she can select five, right? Equally means five. Perfect. 15 divided by, let's do this. 15 divided by three is five each, right? So we are looking for five each. So the first person has a choice of selecting or getting five from 15. Now once we take away those five, in that case, what happens when we give the choice to the second person? So we get an operation and, that is, first person, three or five are given out of those three persons, the second comes. Since the first person has taken away five, we are left with 10. So the second person gets five out of 10 and the third person gets the rest, five out of five. Do you see that? So that becomes the solution. So our answer is 15 C5 times 10 C5 times 5 C5, correct? So that becomes the solution for the given case. So what you get here is 15 C5 times 10 C5 times 5 C5, which is, which is a big number. Let me write down 7, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6. Interesting. So that is the answer for the given question, correct? So I hope it's absolutely clear. Now let's move on and take up the last question. I hope you are enjoying this journey, understanding the co combination concepts. Remember, whenever we are doing combination examples, we have to make sure that order is not important, correct? Question number five is, a committee has 14 members, including seven from grade 12, right? So we have 14 members. Seven of grade 12 and seven other classes, other grades. Okay. In how many ways can a four member committee be formed so that it has not more than three grade 12 students? Not more than three, right? So. We're looking for a committee of four members. We're looking for four member committee, right? And it says, in how many ways can a four member subcommittee be formed so that it has not more than three grade 12 students? That means what we can do is we can actually find total combinations, right? And take away the one which has four grade 12 students, right? So, so we take away the one which has uh, four grade 12 students. Is it okay from total? So then we'll meet this criteria that committee, subcommittee be formed so that it has not more than three grade 12. So, so the grade 12 students could be zero, one, two, or three but not four. So that is what we're trying to use. So different cases, this is the best to select. So out of 14, we have to select four. So what is the total combination? 14 C4, right? And we have to take away the one which has all students from grade four. There are seven, grade 12. So there are seven students in grade 
12 we have to select 4 so that becomes the solution is it okay so let's calculate this answer it is 14 c4 take away 7 c4 966 right so that becomes the answer 966 so that is how it can be answered so i hope this set of videos these set of questions selected on combinations help you to understand different a good variety and gives you good practice for your own test feel free to make your suggestions write your comment share your questions and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best